nuclear fusion is a revolutionary source of energy that has the potential to entirely change how humans get energy in the future. It has the power to disrupt traditional sources of energy creation, transform how that energy is used and stored, and alter the economic and environmental impacts of our energy sectors. And just recently, there was a major breakthrough. Fusion is a type of reaction where two atoms combine to form a single, heavier atom, releasing tremendous amounts of energy in the process. This makes fusion reactions ideal for generating electricity, as the energy released when two atoms are fused together is much greater than that of a fission reaction, or splitting of an atom. Nuclear fusion has the potential to produce large amounts of electricity with minimal waste and no greenhouse gas emissions. In December of last year, the US Department of Energy held a press conference in which they announced they had done something never seen on Earth before, a sustained fusion reaction. Scientists from the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California stated they had conducted a fusion experiment which created net positive energy. That is, they received more energy out of the reaction than they had initially put in. The lead physicist goes on to explain that in the experiment, a confined container full of fusion fuel was indirectly struck by lasers, a lot of lasers, about 2 megajoules worth. A fusion reaction occurred within the chamber, and instruments measured a release of about 3 megajoules of energy. And this entire process occurred practically instantaneously. A megajoule is not anything to write home about. One megajoule is about a quarter of a kilowatt hour. Your average coffee maker uses well more than that. But this experiment demonstrates that fusion reactions can be created, and that they are a viable source of energy production. Nuclear reactions creating our energy is not new. The reactors we see dotting the globe are not fusion reactors, but fission reactors, a different type of nuclear reaction that involves an atom splitting into smaller particles. This technology is what powered the first atomic weapons, but creates much more toxic waste, like radiation. It took a relatively short period of time, less than 10 years, from discovering fission reactions and using them in nuclear weapons, to using the same technology, in a safer way albeit, in power production. However, fusion is a harder nut to crack. Although the first fusion nuclear device was tested in 1950, we just conducted the first controlled sustained fusion reaction, and it will be decades before they are powering our nuclear power plants. The reason for the large time gap is due to the incredible requirements for fusion to occur, which includes superheated plasma at a temperature of 5000 plus degrees centigrade and intense pressure, amongst others. No wonder these reactions only occur naturally at the center of stars. But it is an effort worth pursuing. Fusion technology's impact on energy creation could be far-reaching. It has the potential to replace traditional forms of energy production, such as coal, gas, and oil. By providing a clean, safe, and virtually limitless source of energy, fusion could reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. This would decrease the amount of air and water pollution caused by traditional energy production, and result in a positive impact on the environment as well as human health. It could provide a more secure and sustainable source of energy, reducing the risk of energy shortages and associated economic and political instability. By harnessing the power of fusion, we could create energy that is both affordable and reliable. As Europe currently braces for a cold winter as it simultaneously suffers from an energy shortage, the need for this technology is more evident than ever. In the short term, fusion could be used to generate electricity for homes and businesses in countries around the world. In the longer term, fusion could potentially be used to power our cars and other transportation methods, giving us a more sustainable way to get from place to place. This is an idea that was first hypothesized in the 1950s idealistic and optimistic views of the future. Fusion reactions require less fuel than traditional reactors and can produce more energy with less waste. The energy produced by fusion reactions is much more concentrated than that of other sources, meaning that we would be able to store much more energy in a smaller space. This would allow us to store energy for long periods of time and be able to use it when needed. This makes fusion an attractive option for both public and private entities, as they can provide an affordable and reliable source of energy. This could be a especially beneficial to developing countries that rely heavily on imports of traditional energy sources. By investing in nuclear fusion research, we could be looking at a bright future where energy is clean, efficient, and abundant.